Stunning new video shows a Russian cruise missile flying critically low over a nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. You see right there. The incident happened as Russia fired missiles at Kyiv and President Vladimir Putin issued new warnings to the U.S. CNN's Matthew Chance is in central Ukraine. So, uh, Matthew, what was at the core of Putin's message to the U.S.? Uh, well, he was talking about this decision that's been made by the Biden administration uh, to send Ukraine uh, sort of quite long range multiple launch rocket launchers, um, artillery systems that have a much longer range than the current systems they've got here. Um, it's very controversial because it potentially means that the Ukrainians could push back uh, Russian forces and even strike into, Ukra into Russian territory if they chose to, although they've promised uh, not to do that as a condition of receiving these weapons. But Vladimir Putin, uh, for the first time, spoke about these, uh, this, this deployment uh, over the course of today on Russian television. He basically tried to play down the threat, saying, look, you know, this is not something they didn't have in the past. They've had weapons that can launch uh, uh, artillery this far before. It's about 50 miles or so, by the way, the range of these weapons. Uh, but it's just replacing these lost stocks. However, the warning he issued was this. He said, look, giving Ukraine weapons like this is going to prolong the war. He wasn't saying it was a particular threat to Russia, although it undoubtedly is, but he was issuing that warning to the US and to the rest of the world that's supporting Ukraine that this war is going to continue as long as Ukraine continues to be armed. And then where you are in central Ukraine, what is happening in that region? Well, uh, we're actually very close to the southern area now, which is where, why we're here. We're en route to that southern area where there's been some fighting. Much of the fighting has been taking place up in the Donbass region, up to the north of where I am now. But not all of the fighting has been focused there. There have also been other attacks taking place in the southern part of the region. For instance, just today, you, you played that video of the cruise missile passing very closely to the nuclear power station. Well, that was en route to Mykolaiv, which is a port city uh, a short distance from here in southern Ukraine. Uh, a facility was struck there by a cruise missile. Three people were killed. A grain export uh, storage facility was also destroyed. And that's important because Ukraine is already struggling uh, to export the, the massive, you know, you know, hundreds of thousands of tons of grain or millions of tons of grain uh, that it needs to export every year so people can be fed around the world. This is making it even harder for them to do that. And so there's been a, a whole range of attacks outside of Donbass in southern Ukraine and, of course, Kiev. The capital of Ukraine was attacked today with five Russian cruise missiles, uh, one of them hitting a military target, we're told by Ukrainian officials, the other one striking a train repair workshop or a train repair factory. Um, and so uh, that was a, um, you know, a, a development as well in, in the Ukrainian capital. Wow, still intensifying. Matthew Chance there in Ukraine. Thanks so much.